hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be doing a uh, front porch makeover on my she shed so i'm currently at lowe's now i'm about to go ahead and get two of the fern plants um i'd be skeptical about buying, buying the ferns because they be dying too quick no matter what i do to them they still die um like even before it hits summertime but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get them and try them because they look gorgeous when you put them up all right these people just sitting here and i don't got time so oh she buying some as well now i don't plant them in the ground because that's a waste of my time so i'm just gonna buy them to hang the ones that you hang up all right so i'm about to run in here and I'll be back. Oh my God, they are cheaper at Roses. They are $16.98 in here. Mm -mm. I don't think I'm gonna pay that for these. I'm gonna go to Roses. Yeah, we're not, no, we're not doing this today. Mm -mm. All right, y'all, so I just picked up two from Roses. They were um, $2 cheaper, so I say $4. Okay, so here's what the porch looks like now. It's very dirty over here from all the pollen. I hope these plants will come back. They were so pretty during the summer last year, but they're not dead because they won't even break when I try to break them. But I don't know, maybe they'll come back, maybe they won't. But that's just my little planter box. Um, I need to sweep over here and then I need to get the weeds out from this little flower bed. But before we get started with that, let's take a tour of the she shade inside in case you haven't seen it. here we go all right so here is the living room area that's my little living room entertainment system over here now this serves as um an office space and also a little eatery place and i have silverware and some plates and stuff in the drawer and here is the kitchen area the little sink some dishes and stuff on the shelf and then my coffee station microwave refrigerator and yeah that is this little section over here and then right here we also have a um a locker storage that i turned into a closet just have some extra towels up there hanging space luggage space or whatever you need to put there on the outside of, the, of this side over here i just have a place to hang keys little decorations up there little decorations here and on this side it's just uh, another picture and here is the bed area this is a full-size bed um don't need anything else over, up here and then i have some storage under here in the bins and i keep the iron ironing board right there the iron is in one of those boxes and then on this side of the bed i just keep the um two folding chairs for the folding table which the folding table is right here it slides in easy comes out easy so whenever you have two people or just one to eat you'll have a space to um put the table maybe right here in the two chairs and eat and then here is the bathroom so we have a shower which is a 32 by 32 you have a toilet and you have a sink then the mirror those are some little storage containers up there you have a storage and a shower right there and then tissue hanging up here and then there's a full-size mirror right here and tissue stand and yeah that is the bathroom so that is let me turn the lights off because i'm going back outside but this is my she shed i absolutely love it um i do airbnb some months but um mainly for the masters but i didn't do it this year i um actually close it on airbnb and then i also use it as um guests for when we have more guests um to come and people that want their own space instead of being in the house with us they'll stay out here and um i, th I don't think i'm gonna i don't think i'm gonna put it back on airbnb um i don't know y'all just be so scared of somebody messing it up and germs and you know just all this little different stuff so i think i'm just gonna leave it off of airbnb for right now anyway so yeah, but this is the inside of the she shed all right so we're gonna go back out and go ahead and clean it up for the outside 
and um get my little porch and stuff all cute for the spring and summer so all right let's go back out all right we can officially get started i got my yard bonnet on what i do with my shades because the sun is beaming oh my shades on the table So they didn't have any uh, cayenne pepper at the store that I went to. So I got this red pepper and garlic powder to put in these ferns. So every time I come out the door, the birds don't attack me.
Once I went to Family Dollar and got this little wreath to hang on the door. It says Bloom. I think it's real pretty and it was only $5, I think. Yeah, it was only $5. So I'm gonna put this on the front door. It's cute. Y'all think that's a good spot? I think so. I think it'll be really pretty to hang some curtains out here some of the curtains are not as white as the other ones like these because i took these out out of the sunroom and i washed them bleached them and these just didn't come as clean so i'm gonna put these on that end where it's less noticeable but i'm gonna put these more of on this end All right, the curtains are up, but right now I can't decide on whether I want them to just be flowy in the wind or tie them to the pole. I think for right now, I'll just leave them because I love the way they look with the wind blowing. So I'll just leave them there. So that's it guys. All I have to do is go ahead and finish decorating and then I'll come back with the final look. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Now, I do have some more things that I will put out here, but since pollen is still out a little bit, I don't want it to get, everything just get all messy. So I do have an area rug that I'm gonna put here and also my chair pillows, but I'll update that in the future and uh, see you guys in my next video. Bye.